Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Recent Chernobyl Radioactivity In recent months, Russian forces moved to seize the Chernobyl nuclear plant in Ukraine. Without radiation protection, they drove their vehicles through a highly toxic area known as the Red Forest. The activity kicked up radioactive dust clouds, which one Chernobyl employee said they likely inhaled. Shortly after Russia invaded the country, Ukrainian nuclear officials said that the vehicles had caused a verifiable increase in radiation levels at Chernobyl. The Red Forest is the most contaminated part of the exclusion zone. Even the experts who work at the plant aren't allowed to go there for safety reasons begging the question of why anyone in their right mind would drive through it unprotected. One Ukrainian worker, who is still working at the site while it remains under Russian control, told Reuters that some Russian soldiers he spoke with had never heard of the catastrophic nuclear disaster at the site in 1986, and they reportedly ignored warnings from Chernobyl's staff members to be cautious about radiation. In early April, News reports claimed that some Russian soldiers had left the site after coming down with radiation sickness. They had allegedly been digging trenches in the Red Forest as if driving through it wasn't dangerous enough when they quickly became very sick and decided it was time to go somewhere else. Do you think the Russians did this on purpose or were they just being careless? Number 9. Hammerhead Worm The hammerhead worm is a flatworm that typically grows between 8 and 15 inches long. Named for its hammer or shovel-shaped head, the species is predatory and capable of unlimited self-cloning. It's also the only known land animal that contains the same toxin as pufferfish. While it's unknown how dangerous hammerhead worms are to humans, experts recommend playing it safe and washing your hands after coming into contact with one. The hammerhead worm may or may not have eyes, and it has a single opening on one end that functions as both a mouth and an anus. It reproduces by leaving part of its body, such as part of its tail, stuck to something, and the piece then develops into an entirely new worm. If someone cuts one of these worms into pieces, all the parts will become new worms. This is called fragmentation. This species is native to Asia, it preys on earthworms, which has negative consequences for the soil. Earthworm activity helps aerate the soil and turns it into organic compost, so the ground is a lot less healthy without them. Hammerhead worms have been seen in many parts of the United States, including California and Florida. They appeared in parts of southern and central Maine last fall and were spotted again recently, so it seems that they are there to stay. Scientists are unsure how these Asian natives got to the United States. Number 8. An Altar of Skulls In 2012, police in Chiapas, Mexico, responded to the reported discovery of around 150 human skulls in a cave. They initially thought they had encountered a modern crime scene, especially considering the region's reputation for drug-related violence and human trafficking. Authorities also believed that the remains might be recent because they were left intact, unlike the piles of smashed skull fragments that are often found at ancient sites. But they held off on drawing any definitive conclusions until experts examined the bones. Researchers from Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History determined that these skulls were over 1,000 years old. Most of them belonged to women, except for three infants, and none of them had teeth. Because the remains consisted mostly of skulls, experts believe that the collection represents a sompantli, or altar of skulls. The Aztecs and other Mesoamerican cultures use these arrangements to display the skulls of human sacrifice victims. Evidence of wooden sticks, which were used for building these structures, further supports the idea. The discovery highlights the need for archaeologists to continue their research in the region, according to Inna anthropologist Javier Montes de Paz. In addition, he urged members of the public to come forward if they discover anything that they believe may be of historic interest. Number 7. Suspected Brain Cancer Cluster Over 100 people who graduated from Colonia High School in Woodbridge, New Jersey, have been diagnosed with brain tumors over the last 30 years, sparking concerns that a cancer cluster might exist. Colonia graduate and environmental scientist Al Lupiano was diagnosed with a large benign brain tumor in 1999 at age 27. 
He was treated successfully for the rare condition, but became suspicious when his wife, who also went to Colonia, was diagnosed with the same type of tumor. Lupiano's sister was then diagnosed with a rare and aggressive brain cancer called glioblastoma, which unfortunately took her life. He did some research and began finding that more people who attended the school ended up with brain tumors. As a result, the city has hired experts to perform radiation tests. In addition, the local mayor has reassured the public that if they don't find any meaningful results, they will begin looking into other potential connections. Cancer expert Elizabeth A. Platts told Live Science that multiple cancer cases in the same area don't point toward a cluster. Identifying a cluster involves determining a higher than expected number of cancer cases in a population while taking age, gender, location, and other factors into account. But she acknowledged that the disturbing trend among Colonia graduates needs to be investigated, no questions asked. Number six, submerged human corpses. Lake Mead is Nevada's largest reservoir and one of the biggest reservoirs in the United States. For the last decade, it's been plagued by droughts and plummeting water levels, and this year is no exception. The receding waters recently exposed a human corpse in a barrel dumped into the lake over 30 years ago. Based on the decomposed body's clothing and footwear, authorities believe they died sometime between the mid-1970s and the early 80s. It appears as though the person was male and was shot to death in a homicide. His identity remains a mystery. Just days later after this discovery, also in 2022, someone called the police to report the discovery of skeletal human remains, including a jawbone with attached teeth, on an exposed sandbar in Lake Mead. Here, authorities said that there's no evidence of foul play. The jawbone was found by sisters Lindsay and Lynette Melvin, paddleboarding on the lake when they explored the sandbar. They initially thought the remains belonged to a bighorn sheep, but they realized the bones were human when they noticed the jaw and the teeth. Lynette Melvin told ABC News that she and Lindsay hope that the deceased person's family gets answers and that their soul can rest peacefully. These recent discoveries have reignited rumors about mafia assassins dumping bodies into Lake Mead. Mob historian Joff Schumacher told ABC that the mafia disposed of bodies in barrels starting as far back as the 1880s. He believes that more shocking discoveries will be made as the lake continues to recede. Number 5. Mystery Monkey In 2017, photos of a strange mystery monkey spotted in Malaysian Borneo began appearing on social media. It caught the attention of scientists, who've recently analyzed images of the female primate and suspect that she's a hybrid between a proboscis monkey and a silvery langur. While it's not unheard of for closely related species from the same evolutionary group to interbreed, the proboscis monkey and silvery langur differ significantly and are from separate groups. Proboscis monkeys have pink faces with elongated noses and weigh up to 53 pounds. Silvery langurs have black faces with short noses and are much smaller, weighing roughly 14 and a half pounds on average. Study co-author and primatologist Nadine Ruppert told Life Science that it appears as though the two species are living in mixed groups based on witness observations. The researchers believe male proboscis monkeys may use their size to dominate langur groups and force the males to leave. The case is also shocking because when two distantly related animals interbreed, their offspring are usually sterile, yet the mystery monkey has been seen with a baby. Of course, it's possible that she was taking care of another monkey's baby, but the scientists noticed she appeared to be lactating, showing that she did reproduce biologically. The discovery is interesting, but it's also disturbing for the researchers who attribute the interbreeding to the two species being crammed into a rapidly shrinking habitat because of deforestation. The hybrid monkey is just another unsettling example of how human activity threatens biodiverse regions that desperately need protection. Number 4. Unexplained Hepatitis Outbreak in recent weeks, news headlines have reported on nearly 200 cases of unexplained hepatitis in children throughout the world. The strange outbreak started a few months ago, and at least nine kids in the United States have been affected. Most of the patients getting the condition are less than 10 years old. Hepatitis is characterized by the inflammation of the liver. Severe cases are rare in children, yet most recent cases are serious. 
Experts have ruled out the hepatitis virus and are scrambling to figure out precisely what is causing so many kids to get sick. They found that the numbers of cases are increasing in places where outbreaks have been reported, including in Scotland, where more than a dozen children have come down with the condition. There have been over 100 cases in the UK where the first confirmed case was identified. In addition, Israel, Denmark, Ireland, the Netherlands, Spain, Italy, Norway, France, Romania and Belgium have also seen cases. Scientists suspect that adenovirus infections are responsible for the outbreak. Adenoviruses can cause various symptoms, including fevers, pneumonia, diarrhea, pink eye and cold-like symptoms. All nine children who got sick in the U.S. and 75% of the cases in the U.K. tested positive for a specific type of adenovirus. They have been linked with previous hepatitis cases in kids with weakened immune systems, but are not known to cause it in healthy children. SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, is not thought to be behind the cases. None of the U.S. cases have tested positive for COVID-19, and UK officials have also not found a connection. Number 3. Evidence of Ancient Ritual Bloodletting Archaeologists recently announced the discovery of 30 badly weathered ancient rock carvings in southern Mexico that they believe might have been used in bloodletting rituals. Found in the ancient settlement of Quiachapa, they appear to depict eye-shaped ball courts. Based on many discoveries throughout Mesoamerica, it's clear that ball games played an essential role in the region's early cultures. Nobody knows what the rules were, and the shape and appearance of the ball courts changed over time. The game dates back at least 3,600 years and involved two opponents and a rubber ball. Researchers speculate it held religious and ceremonial significance. Quiachapa dates back at least 2,300 years, but the age of the recently discovered carvings is unclear. Study researcher Alex Elvis Badillo told Life Science that they represent the highest density of this particular type of ball court depiction ever found in Mesoamerica. Spanish priest Juan Ruiz de Alarcón, who lived in Mexico following the 16th century Spanish conquest, described seeing Mesoamerican groups practicing rituals that involved spilling blood into small stone cavities. But the researchers admitted that until more evidence is found, they can't say for sure whether rituals were performed at the carvings. Number 2. Beach Squid The giant squid is somewhat of a legendary creature. Sightings are rare because of their elusive nature and deep-dwelling tendencies. Although the squid is known for its strangeness and size, this species is also thought to have inspired tales of the mythical ship-sinking sea monster known as the Kraken. Beachgoers at Long Beach in South Africa recently found a giant squid carcass washed up along the shore. Its body alone was over 7 feet long, and its tentacles appeared to be nearly 12 feet long, according to Cape Town resident Alison Paulus, who spoke with Life Science. The sighting comes two years after Adele Gross and her husband encountered a stranded giant squid during their daily morning walk in Cape Town, South Africa. Upon spotting the creature along Golden Mile Beach, Adele's first instinct was to try putting it back into the ocean. But when she took a closer look, she realized the squid was dead and was remarkably intact with no visible injuries. She theorized large swells had washed it ashore the night before. The specimen measured roughly 13 feet long and weighed around 660 pounds. Giant squids typically live at depths between 1,000 and 3,000 feet. Very little is known about these mysterious creatures, which were first captured on camera just 20 years ago. But scientists believe they can grow at least 43 feet long and that these massive marine animals may very well have inspired the tale of the Kraken and other sea monster legends. Number 1. Shifting Parasitic Skin Rash Just days after receiving treatment for lung cancer at a hospital in Spain, a 64-year-old man developed a rash of wavy red lines all over his body. The lesions first appeared on his rear end, and doctors were alarmed to notice that they soon migrated elsewhere. The man was also experiencing diarrhea, and a stool test revealed he was infected with a common type of roundworm. The worms were crawling under his skin. Infections are typically caused by coming into contact with contaminated soil or human sewage or waste. 
Most people don't experience any symptoms, and infections usually aren't life-threatening to healthy people. But the patient had recently received steroids that suppress the immune system, making him especially vulnerable to the more severe symptoms that can come with a roundworm infection. The worms can spread to a patient's lungs, liver, brain, heart, and urinary tract in the most serious cases. These infections can be fatal, mainly because they are often diagnosed too late for doctors to provide life-saving treatment. Thankfully, he caught the infection in time and recovered with the help of medication. Thanks for watching. Would you rather discover the cure for cancer or solve a cold case murder? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.